welcome on in. If you're new, I'm Kay. I'm an illustrator. I make studio vlog style videos here on YouTube. And today I wanted to share some art that I have purchased from some independent illustrators and artists this year. Some of these are Kickstarters. Some are just gifts I got for myself over the holiday sale season. But now more than ever, I think it's important to be supporting independent artists and small businesses, even if it isn't an art related gift. And I just wanted to showcase the goods. So I will have information listed below on everything you see here for all the artists that I am sharing. And yeah, remember to shop small. Enjoy. The first package that I received was actually a Kickstarter and it came in this beautiful box. I'd entirely forgotten about this to be honest. I tend to back Kickstarters and then completely forget I've done so and it's just like a, a treasure arrives for me in the mail and I'm like yes thank you past self. And this is from the artist Jamila Nomf. I apologize if I absolutely murder these names. I will do my best. Links below of course. And I did not expect all the goodies that came with this. It had this beautiful bookmark, all of these postcard style prints. I was did not know that it had ended up meeting all these stretch goals for these goodies. I just backed the book and like I said, kind of forgot that it, it even was a thing until it showed up at my door. So I absolutely love her illustrations. I think they are magical and they're so they're so detailed and so soft. I love the lighting and all of her work. It's just glorious. It also came with these sticker sheets. These are absolutely precious. I don't know where I'm going to use them. I always struggle with where to place stickers because I'm like, I don't want to waste them, but also I want to see them. And it included these food illustration stickers too, which I absolutely love. It came with an entire sketchbook, which I was blown away by. Like I said, I didn't follow any of the stretch goals at all. So this was like a literal treasure trove of goodies. Can't wait to start using that. It came with this beautiful print, which I'm going to need to find a frame for, for sure. Look at the lighting. Oh my gosh. And then of course, the main event, <laughs> you know, the, the only thing I actually knew that I was getting is the book itself. I'm not going to show the whole thing, of course, just a quick flip through because I feel like if you want to see the whole book, please do purchase it and support the artists. It is called Komorebi, which again, I'm sorry if I'm murdering pronunciations. I'm trying my best. And it is absolutely stunning. It includes, you know, detailed writing about their work and about the process and things like that. It's such a beautiful collection that showcases uh, Jamila's work and I can't wait to read through the entire thing. This next pack of goodies I originally thought was just going to be a book and a couple prints and it came with so much more from Stretch Goals, I'm assuming, which is always exciting. So first we have the business card for Angel Ganev, who is the artist here. Links below, of course, and it is absolutely stunning. His work is incredible. The lighting in his work is just utterly breathtaking. It is certainly my most, I mean, I love everything about his work, but I think the lighting is my favorite part. Got all of these stickers. Look at this. Oh my god. Like the lighting on this. This is just like a matte sticker and you can see just the lighting in the color is so amazing. Got this one. This one. I love this one a lot too. It's so cozy. So cozy and cute. I think this is my my second favorite. I just love the color choices. So beautiful. I got this bookmark, which is very, very glossy and shiny, and I believe matches the cover art on the book. Which I'll show you when we get there. It came with four, five, five prints, and I thought I was only getting two, so that's pretty cool. Every print does have these kind of like subtitle text and font bits at the bottom. I am not the biggest fan of that. I kind of prefer if it was just the art, but I can either frame around it or, I mean, it's not like it ruins the beautiful art, so it's no big deal. It's just not my personal preference. But all the prints are super, super high gloss, as you can see. And they are beautiful. This is my most favorite one. Look at the lighting in this piece. I can't even. Between like the contrasting colors and the beautiful light, it's just so stunning. 
this one too I love because it's not overly dramatic with the lighting like we have these awesome Technicolor hands but like look at this section here just how soft everything on the legs is as the light goes from warm to the nice purple like beautiful beautiful love it and then the book itself draw with angel it is an incredibly you know high high shine foil gold title which is pretty cool and I will just do a quick flip through. I don't ever go through the whole book because the idea, if you if you want to see the whole book, you got to buy it. Support the artists. It is signed, which is pretty sweet. And it just talks about, at the end, I know it talks a lot about different process. And then each page is kind of dedicated to an individual piece and then talks about um, the piece itself and the process of it, which is awesome. I love learning about how other artists work and their inspirations and things. So I can't wait to read through it. It's a gorgeous collection and I'm so excited to have it. These are from an artist uh, who I adore, Amber Shirell. I will link her below. Um, this is her business card. I got this beautiful hollow sticker. These are the spiritual stones from Legend of Zelda. I actually discovered Amber's work through Linktober, the Zelda art challenge that I've participated in for a couple of years now. There's such an amazing community of artists there and I'm so glad I discovered her. I got a Korok sticker set with little mushrooms. Look at these. And these are all, I love mushrooms in general, but these ones are like the ones from Breath of the Wild. So you have like your stamina mushrooms and hearty truffles, rush rooms, all that jazz. Awesome. I got this print, which I just love. It's all kind of like the varieties of Koroks you can find in the game. A few of them, the kinds you need to follow the flowers for, under a rock, in the pile of leaves, frozen in ice, and with the little, like, I don't even know what you call this, like tree nut that you can crack and find them in. Oh, Lentil, you helping? Oh, thanks, buddy. Th th thanks. Yep. Oh, good boy. <laughs> um, and I just thought this was so adorable. I'm going to frame it and put it with my Link collection in my living room. And then lastly, this, I can't even believe I got this. I'm so excited for this. This is an original piece of art. This is not a print from, I believe, last year's Linktober. What's the date right there? You can do it, camera. You can do it. Yes, 2019. So this was last year's Linktober. Look, I, I just, like, I don't, I can't even with the details. It's so beautiful. It's so crisp and clean. Look at those freaking leaves on the necklace. Like, I love it so much. So obviously I need to find a frame for this immediately. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put this one. There's a part of me that wants to keep it with my Lincoln Zelda collection we have on our shelves in the living room, but I also kinda of wanna have it in my little art studio where I work, so I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But those are all my gorgeous things from Amber Shirell. Links below, of course. The last thing I treated myself to is actually something I have been coveting for over a year. I've had on my list of, I really, really want this, I really, really want this, and I decided to pull the trigger while they were having a sale, and it is a new tarot deck. It came with these beautiful prints, which I absolutely love, like, so stunning, so stunning. And then here is the deck itself. It is the Marigold Tarot. The box is fully, fully gilded and shiny. I love the, uh, oh, you can do it, camera. I love the details on the side. Like the box itself is just beautiful and wait until you see the deck. So here is the deck itself. It is so stunning. I don't even know what to do, like just look at some of these cards they're so new and slick i'm like i'm trying not to throw them everywhere with one hand but how beautiful is this deck i can't even wait to start doing daily pulls with this this is what the back of all the cards look like with the beautiful marigold i love the theme of this deck aesthetically but also it like so beautifully combines the love of macabre and horror that i have with nature and I haven't seen another deck that really has these two aesthetics combined so beautifully. 
and I absolutely love it. Here is the artist, by the way. I'll have links for everything below, of course. But yeah, this deck is absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to use it on the daily. The holiday cards I illustrated arrived in the mail at the beginning of the week, so I filled all those out and sent them off. It's a little later than normal, but I expected that because of shipping delays due to COVID, so no big deal. I also, I talked about the horror esque holiday card that I illustrated in my previous video, but I also illustrated a family card as well. So I uh, will pop that up on the screen for you to see. And I sent that one out to some of my family members who I didn't think would probably appreciate my beautiful horror card that I personally like, but I was happy to make both. I've done a family illustrated card for the last five years, and this is also the first year that we have Lentil, so it would be his first debut on a card, so I really was not at all sad about illustrating both and having both a card that suits my aesthetic, but also one that showcases our little family. All right, I've got all my cards filled out. Now it's time to envelope and address them. I sketched out a new winter illustration on my Twitch stream this week. I had an idea about a month ago for a winter piece that I wanted to do something featuring an owl and cardinals. Cardinals to me are always something that remind me of winter. We start seeing them in the late fall where I live, but the contrast of their bright red color against the white snowy background is like quintessential winter where I live. And then owls, I don't know why I think of owls in winter. I just, I always associate them with winter. So I really wanted to include one and kind of make a sort of spiritual keepers of winter type piece and uh, have it represent that. Owls also typically represent death, which I think is very appropriate for the winter season from a nature perspective, because everything kind of goes into that dying off phase to be regrowing in the spring, which I really enjoy as general symbolism for the season. So I have created a three-eyed owl, which is actually a combination of a great horned owl and a snowy owl. So it's not a, a real owl species. So many owls in one sentence. Owl, owl, owl. <laughs> and some skull face cardinal buds there with it. And I'm really excited to keep working on this. This is going to be a digital piece. I wasn't sure originally if I was going to oil paint it, but I need some more digital practice and this will be a great piece to practice that. This is the final week with our little foster crew. They are all completely healthy now and they have gained enough weight for their surgeries. The last one to tip the scales at a whopping two pounds was Mittens. Uh, they have to be two pounds to have their spay and neuter surgeries. So they will be off as of Friday morning for their surgeries and then hopefully adoption, be some nice Christmas kittens. We have so enjoyed the time we had with them. We ended up having them much longer than expected. It was kind of going to be a quick turnaround, but they ended up with a little bit of weight gain struggle. So we got to enjoy them more. They've gained enough weight and I'm just so thankful to have them and uh, can't wait till we get another crew.
Thank you so much for watching today. Please make sure you check out the description below for all the artists that I featured at the beginning of this video. Definitely give them, you know, the social media follows and all that jazz. And please let me know in the comments below how you celebrate the holiday. If you celebrate, uh, we do a pretty traditional Christmas, though from a, a non-religious non perspective Christmas. And I always love learning how other people celebrate or if they have any traditions or anything. We don't do anything major, mainly just we eat cinnamon buns on Christmas morning and then kind of spend the day together as a family. We won't be visiting other family this year due to COVID, but I'm excited to have a nice day just for our little family. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday, no matter how you celebrate. Take care. Bye.